Good afternoon. Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media. I'm obviously in the AD Link booth. I'm here with Tim Liu, the CEO. Hello, Jim. How are you? Good, good. I'm very good. Good. And how are you, Rich? Uh, I'm doing fine. You know, nobody ever asked me that. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> no uh, problem. Uh, I, I noticed here at AD Link there seems to be some sort of evolution. Um, we used to talk about embedded computing, and now it seems to be we're talking about edge computing. Um, is, is this true? Is this really what I'm seeing? And why is there this transformation? Okay, so I think we have been in embedded computing over 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, the, about a couple of years ago, people talk about the cloud, and then people talk about the edge. And uh, suddenly, they think AD Link, we should move to the next uh, milestone or next generation is how we can perform or play some very good position at the edge side. So maybe I give you some idea what is the big difference between the embedded computing and the edge computing. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about the embedded, more and more of embedded is talk about the standalone. The standalone and most of the edge compute, uh, the embedded computing is looking from the we call the southbound connectivity. They deal with the sensor. They deal with the motor driver. Probably this is uh, the edge computing. Focus on standalone one device, one machine. But if we move to the edge, mm -hmm. it's not standalone. The edge you need to think in from the Swarm. The swarm means that you need to connect or share the information between device and the device, device and the people, or device and the access. So that is the that is a kind of a fundamental principle of IoT. Right. Share the information. After you get the right information at the right time, in the right place, you can make the right decision. Mm -hmm. and take the right action. Only the device or the machine or people can take the right action. That is the value created. For example, if you always can make the right decision, take the right action, that means the efficiency. Today we talk about smart city, smart factory, or smart, smart what. What is the purpose for that? Because we need to make the right action. Right. If your action is correct, your action is no redundance, you know, overhead, and uh, that is the efficiency. That is, uh, you will get what is the return from this investment. So again, embedded talk about the standalone. Age is talk about swarm. Mm -hmm. So. If you want to move from embedded to go to the edge, there are two criteria. The first one is you want to move more and more AI or decision mm -hmm. or intelligence at the edge in your device. So that is why you need a powerful computer, no matter this is a CPU, GPU, FPGA, etc. So what we call this is a edge computing or the heterogeneous edge computing. Right. The second important one is connectivity. At the edge, it's not the only go to the northbound to the cloud. You need to have a peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. And this real time this connectivity should be in time. So that is why we call it the five R, five rights, is important at the edge side. Right data, mm -hmm. available at the right time, in the right place, and take the right action, uh, make the right decision, take the right action. Okay, so this is uh, you know the direction AD Link we move step by step for the future age. And what's been the reaction from customers? Uh, I think, you know, before we talk about the, the age solution, 
the swarm, the connectivity is there. Uh, I have to say, not so many customers really have the pain for this one. Mm -hmm. A lot of embedded customers still build the one machine, one device. But today, when we talk to the customer, the customer is quite impressed. They think they already recognize that is the trend in the future. They already got some pain for this kind of information sharing right. for time. But the, as you know, the real time is not only talk about the hardware or software. You need to simply integrate the hardware and the software together. And then that can really fix the problem for real time. Very good. Thank you very much, Jim. Yep. You're welcome.